Good morning. It's a sunny day after St. Patrick's Day. And here I am with one of Ebony's lambs for cuddle. She's lying across my lap. Here's her front feet. She's starting to chew her cud. Oh my goodness. Look at who's joined us. Whoops. Lamb didn't like <laughs> up in Med's tail. Hit her nose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let her down. There you go. Still curious. She hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, oh yes, kitty. Look at that, she hasn't traveled far from me. Now Oven Mitt wants to get on my lap. <laughs> so from a lamb cuddle... To a cat cuddle. There we go. Yes. And the sheep are still eating. And the three missing lambs have made an appearance. There they are, on the other side of the fence. So there were only 22 lambs. And I should have rushed off and gone hunting for them. But then I heard the call, so I knew they would be coming. So that's the full set of 25 lambs that are here. And look, we still want, oh, no, okay. You haven't gone very far after I cuddled you, did you? You're still here. Oh, oven mitt. Mm, good girl. Mm, yeah. Inca's waiting for me to tell her to start hurting. You want to start with Ebony's lamb, do you? No, leave her alone. It's fine now. Oven mitt's enjoying a bit of sun. How do lambs approach a cat? Oops, my goodness. Of him, it's gonna think this is all too much. Stick up his tail and move off for human security. Are you good cat? Yes, and you're a good dog. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? You're ready. You're born ready, aren't you, Inca? Okay, come on. Come on. Bright early morning sun. And it's frosty. Bear and Overmit wait beyond the gate. 